In the spring of 2005, as part of this documentary, we arranged for the Banus family, Junior, Maxine, Barry, and Steve Banus, to ski together for the first time in over 30 years. With a little help from Rusty and the Wasatch Powderbirds crew, it was time for the first and ultimate run. Atop Snowbird's Twin Peaks lies the 11,489-foot summit and the legendary pipeline chute. In the best of conditions, the pipeline is one of the most dangerous runs in the canyon. The walls are lined with jagged rocks, and it's here where even the most expert of skiers crosses that line into extreme skiing, where there is no room for mistakes. I skied the pipeline for the first time with Junior uh, some several years ago. I guess it was in the 70s, as Ted Johnson was still at Snowbird. I, and uh, I came down from British Columbia and I wanted to visit and ski with Junior and we got off at the top of the uh, cable car there and I looked over and I saw this pipeline, this thing they called the pipeline. I said, what's that like to ski? And, and uh, Junior and Ted said, well, it's never been skied before. So I said, well, why don't we ski it? So Ted says, uh, I'll pay for the helicopter if you guys will ski it. So Ted got on the phone, called up the helicopter, and up came the uh, chopper and picked us up and took us up the top. And uh, I remember he couldn't, he couldn't even land the helicopter. There wasn't much room, and we had to kind of, he had to kind of hover there just above it. And we got out and stepped off and put our skis on, and uh, that uh, that was the first time the pipeline had ever been skied. Well, I'll tell you, the best skiers in the world would have taken a look at Pipeline and thought, you know, anyone can fall, and if you fail, you're gone. For him to ski Pipeline in, in very tough, difficult conditions today at, at uh, nearly 80 is, is remarkable, and, you know, that's probably the ultimate goal for me is to be able to, uh, at 80 years old, have the same love and passion and excitement and enjoyment out of skiing and, and to be able to keep doing it. In true fashion, the man lived up to the legend. At a few months shy of 80 years old, Junior conquered the pipeline and proved to himself that he was and still is the master of the mountains.